And so mindfulness is the freedom to know what to say, when to say it, and what not to say, and what and when not to say it. Yeah, you understand? This ability to develop, this ability to train in it. In particular, it's hard with attachment. So my teacher, Venerable Geshla, said, attachment is like oil in a rag, and the other delusions are like dust on the rag. Yeah, so it's like, you know, it's easy to get dust off a rag, but oil's like soaked in. And so it's like, you know, if some of these we're angry with someone, maybe within a few weeks we might be smiling with them. But if we're attached to someone, you know, we could be attached for 10 years, <laughs> isn't it? It's still dreaming about the prom queen, the, the chance that you had and missed. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it binds our mind. And again, we're back to suffering. Again, we're back to melancholy. Again, we're back to dreaming. Again, we've no choice. You understand? So we start with external objects. We lean in. And we lean back. Mindfulness training is noticing what we're doing and stopping, having a moment and going, I'm not going to lean in. Which, for, for again, some of us on the path, those, again, with the childish ego, um, seems like a punishment. <laughs> Doesn't it? So, in terms of childish ego, you know, being the first person to put my hand up, sometimes it feels like a punishment. <laughs> I, I really do want to go to that party and I really do think that that chick is the source of happiness. And one of the things about attachment is, it, it, and just see if you do this, just see if Buddha actually knows what he's talking about, check. It exaggerates the good qualities. Yeah, ever do that? Ever exaggerate the good qualities of someone you meet? Yeah. Like, because no one else in the world has actually seen it, right? <laughs> it's like, but have you just seen it? The, oh, the, the tone of her voice, the way she laughs. And it's like someone else is like, it's the worst laugh I've ever heard, you know? And it's like, I can't live without her or him. I can't live without him. <laughs> Three weeks later, you know, they've left and you're right. Like, <laughs> did you exaggerate the qualities? Or, it's like... So we have to kind of stop it as it happens and recognize the mind is just going into something that does not give us the happiness we seek. Yeah? It doesn't give us freedom. It makes us a prisoner to external objects. <laughs>